Hello, this is Nicolo Sadamu and this uh, lecture or the beginning of a lecture or part of the lecture is prepared for my students for BMCC, those who take the course Business 220 Business Decisions. We are going to focus on quantitative aspect of decisions, but decisions are not only quantitative decisions, there are many type of decisions. We are going to talk about that. What I would like to talk for the first time is the influence diagrams or the interdependence diagrams we have. In business, the most important part is to look for the bottom line. And the bottom line, as you can see here, is profit. In order, though, to figure out what kind of profits we have, we need to manage in the total cost and the revenue areas. So we need to put everything in that particular perspective. One way we can be able to make as complicated charts very easy uh, and indicate our thoughts in that particular process is using Mathematica. We're going to use Mathematica a lot. It's a software that helps us to understand math. And what we're going to use is this particular command the layered graph plot. How do we use that? We put the layered graph plot. That particular way you can see it. Capitalized every letter that starts a new word, having all the words together, and then we have a square bracket. Within that square bracket we put all the information we need. What we need to do is we need to put the particular information that we want in quotations. So, total profit is coming from total revenue and total cost has impact to the profit. If we want to have the labeling of the vertex, we need to specify vertex is true. If we want the graph to go from top to bottom, we leave it as it is. If we want the graph to go from right to left, we can specify left here and we can put a comma after that particular case. So if we have that information, we can put shift and enter. The graph is new now and we have it as profit being dependent from total cost and total revenue. If we want to make it things a little bit more complicated, we can go on and we can specify what we want to have. Here, for example, we say that total revenue is dependent upon the price and uh, the quantity of sold uh, of goods and services we have affects total revenue and total revenue affects profit as before. But total cost is dependent upon fixed cost and variable cost. So if we want to think about that, let's make some changes to the entire case. If we want everything to be from top to bottom, we can leave it as it is. If we want everything to go from right to left, we can put here left with a comma and we can have a little bit of a different graph here. We can see the graph. Mathematica allows to resize that particular graph and have it the way we want it. Let's keep it from top to bottom for this time and we can have the graph as it is. Let's try to make it a little bit more complicated. I'm going to ask you the question. Is price something that is given or price is something that is related to what kind of a demand we have? and quality, quantity sold of the products we have is independent or that is dependent upon that demand. If we want to put that information, we don't have to put it in any particular order. The computer automatically defines the order. What we need to do, we need to go somewhere and hit and then go on and specify what information we have. So you can, we can have the demand is something that defines price. We can put it here. <coughs> and we can see that we have the demand defines price. We can click it and we can see it from that point. 
But if we want also to say that demand has impact to quantity sold, now I'm going to make one mistake so we can see what happens. I will specify quantity quantity sold, but I will put lowercase for sold, which is different than what I have previously, and I can see it. As you can see, that particular graph shows me two types of quantity sold because the computer does not know how to make the differences. If I can specify it exactly the same, this is what I have. The demand affects the quantity sold, affects the price, and based upon that we have the revenue that we can have. But is price only something that is an external part? It is something that is related from the demand or is it related to, from the supply? If we want to say that price is related also from the supply and we want to put that, we can have supply is something that specifies demand, correct or not, is specifying price and we can put comma so we can have everything there. Do we have anything correct? You see the lines are not going there. We need price to be within quotation, double quotation as it is. Now everything is aligned. That means that things are good. We can have that supply specifies price as well as demand specifies price and supply also specifies quantity sold. But supply is based upon what? Is it related to the cost we have or not? If we want to put that two pieces, additional pieces of information, we can go here and we can say that also supply affects not only the price but the quantity sold. Quantity sold comma, and the total cost affects the supply that we can have. As you can see here, things are not aligned. If we put this comma, everything goes on and everything aligns. We can see the new graph that we can have now. If we want that graph to be from left to right or from right to left, we can specify it. left comma and now we can have this particular graph that gives me the relations that I have. As we can see here, total cost affects the supply. Supply and demand determine the price and the quantity sold. Quantity sold and price affects total revenue. Total revenue has an impact to the profit, but also profit is directly related to total cost, which is dependent upon the variable and fixed cost. From now on, we can go on and we can be able to go on and analyze specific relations that we can be able to see here. But before we go on and we do that, what is important to know the total interconnections that we have in any business looking at the relations we have. What I would like you to do is I would like you to take that simple idea that's interesting and very useful software we have and go to the business that you work and you have experience. If this is, let's say, for example, something very simple, at the same time very complicated. If it's a business that produces clothes, neckties, for example, what are the particular elements that you have to face? And they make that diagram a specific diagram, more specific than what you see here. If that is a restaurant, very simple restaurant, 
what you have is you are in a pizza place and you have to produce pizza and you have to sustain your business so you would make profit and operate it in a very successful way. Can you make a diagram like this that is going to be useful for your business? The next step would be to specify more specifically the relations that we can see here. We can start from the relationship between cost and then we can go to the relationship between the markets, how prices are defined, and from that how we can go and get the revenue, and then from the cost and revenue how we can get into profit. I'm sure those of you who took a course in economics did all that stuff, and I'm sure all those of you who took the course in algebra covered that information in an algebraic form. Here we can review it in a very fast and easy way and I hope that this is going to be the first class that we go into quantitative dimension of business and you're gonna enjoy it and the most important part is that you're gonna find it very useful and beneficial to your careers. Enjoy it and have a nice term. Bye!